MMA wouldn't be where it is today if it didn't change these three shocking rules. Did you know in the early days of the UFC, there were no judges? That's right. Unless either fighter was knocked out or submitted, there was no one to decide who won the fight. And if there was no knockout or submission, the bout would be declared a draw. You know how we played death matches on Call of Duty? Yeah. That's pretty much what these guys did in the octagon. It wasn't until UFC 12 in 1997 that the concept of judges were first introduced and even back then, their means of scoring was significantly different to what scoring is right now. Number two, believe it or not, there was a time where there were no weight classes in MMA. That means a heavyweight fighter could theoretically go up against a flyweight and people would crowd an arena to watch that happen. And we did get some version of this when 200 pound Keith Hackney went up against 600 pound Emmanuel Jabro and proceeded to beat him left, right, in center, breaking his hand in an effort to get the win. Third, did you know MMA was illegal for a while in the US? That's right, in the early days of the UFC, there were pretty much no rules. And it was often seen as inhumane or barbaric, with many states banning the sport. It wasn't until the establishment of the Unified Rules of Mixed Martial Arts in 2001 that MMA became legal in all 50 states. It's crazy to see just how far MMA promotions have come since then. And that's why 